Okay, let's talk about the most commonly asked question that I get and have gotten for 21 years now. What is the most important thing that I need to do? And I, funny enough, was just talking on the phone last night with one of my leaders about this very subject. And the reason I say this is critical is we are in the business of duplication. We are in the business of not getting paid on what we can do, but earning true wealth on the system and example that we set. If you understand home-based business and, and the theoretical example that you saw at the presentation, you understand that we are always setting an example. It's either a good example or it's a bad example, but we're always setting an example. And whatever we do is what our people will duplicate. We've all heard it, you know, do what I say, not what I do. That's not how it works. People are going to follow the exact system that you used with them. So there's three things I'm going to outline, and we're not going to go into detail on this video. But I'm going to outline them so that at least you know what to do when you have a brand new person. I'm going to first of all ask you to write this down. Be a responsible sponsor. Not being funny when I say it, because when you enroll people into this business, it's very easy for people to think their job is done once the person joins. Your job is just beginning. It's not the end of the race when they say, yes, I want to join. It's the beginning. And it's our job as their sponsor to be responsible and guide them properly. So there's three things I'm going to ask you to write down. Know what to do. It's critical, 100% critical, that you know what to do in order to have success. But the funny thing is, the amount of work that we're going to teach you is so small we could knock that out in about five minutes. Knowing what to do is important, but it's only one component out of three. Knowing how to do it would be important. Knowing what to do is great. Knowing how to do it, again, even a little bit more important. And these are critical. And the bottom line is I'm going to use, again, a sports analogy because it's just where I come from. And it doesn't matter if you're not a big sports fan because a lot of the ladies say, why can't you come up with different analogies? It'll make sense. If we were going to talk about sports and I was your coach, I could hand you the playbook and say, read it. In the playbook, we're going to do what's called a, a seven-yard button hook, which means you're going to take seven yards, you're going to turn left, and the ball's going to come in. You're going to curl around, and all of a sudden the ball's there. I could put that in the book and have you read it. That's one way. Or you know what we could do? We could go down on the field, and I could show you exactly what it looks like. Where I could walk you seven yards, turn you left, and have the quarterback throw the ball to you. Do you think it might make a difference from reading the play in the book to walking down on the field, going seven yards, knowing what seven yards feels like, turning and having the ball thrown to you. So you can see there's a difference between knowing what to do and knowing how to do it. But again, those are two of the three elements. The third and most critical element is your willingness to do it. Because if you want to be a professional athlete, if you want to be a champion, yeah, I suppose you need to have the book to know what the play is. And I suppose someone should walk you through it. But the difference between champions, okay, champions and everybody else, is their willingness to do it repeatedly. See, champions are born just like everybody else. Everybody thinks there's some special skill set. And I can tell you point blank, if you're not sure, watch the NBA draft. Watch the NFL draft. Every professional athlete going into that draft is strong, is fast, is big. And we're always measuring them by their physical characteristics. They're all big. They're all tall. They're all strong. They're all fast. They all throw far. They all run fast. They all jump high. All of the athletes getting to that level share those common characteristics. That's how they got there. They are the elite, the best of the best. So why is it that when they go into their professional careers, some of them fail miserably and some become perennial champions? Their willingness to practice. Their willingness to practice. 
What I'm asking you right now is if you're choosing success, if right now you're saying, I want to be successful, will you go run the play over and over again with the people that you sponsor? If I am your sponsor, you better believe I'm going to tell you what to do. You better believe I'm going to show you and make sure you know how to do it. But the difference between the way I run my business and have for 21 years and the majority of people is if I'm your sponsor, you and I, within the first 24 hours of you enrolling, I'm going to sit down with you and your spouse, and I'm going to spend two hours making sure you know the plays, you can run the plays, and it's not because I think, it's because I'm doing it with you. If you want to be successful, commit to the brand new person that comes into your business. If you're brand new and your sponsor has not yet done this, don't get mad at them. Maybe they weren't taught to do this. But you reach out to your sponsor and you say to your sponsor, hey, I want to be the best. Can you help me? I'm willing to run the play as many times as it takes till I become an expert. And I promise you, you reach out to your sponsor and you tell them, I'm willing to run the play until I get it right, until I am an expert. They'll find the time or they will absolutely reach into their upline and they'll grab one of the leaders to make sure that you go from brand new to expert as quickly as possible. Remember, knowing what to do, knowing how to do it, we're talking three to five minutes, folks. Your willingness, that is your determining factor. If you're saying, I want to be the best, you make the decision. And by the way, it's a process. We're always in process. I am always learning from the brand new people I work with. So please don't ever think, ever, we're done learning. It's always a process. Thanks so much for watching.